What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, apparently, MJF goes off in uh, last night's media scrum. I didn't get a chance to check it out, uh, but a lot of you guys were saying I need to check it out. So, that's what I'm here to do in my luscious robe. Uh, I've been in a robe all weekend. Uh, I've just been relaxing, man. Just been relaxing. Still dropping some content for you guys, but, you know, I, I just wanted to kind of relax as much as I possibly can this weekend because this week it's going to be crazy. Uh, I mean, there's a good chance I'll probably reach 100K subscribers this week. Hopefully so. Um, so, you know, I'm going to be trying to set up the 100K subscriber stream. We got the... Um, survivor series stream we got the monday night raw stream probably got the friday night stream like we got so much stuff that we got to check out all also it's thanksgiving this week so it's just so much going on i'm gonna be hella busy so i knew i need to at least try to recharge my batteries as much as possible but we got to check this out man because mjf is on top of the world so i want to see what he said at this media scrum appreciate all the love and support let's do this thing He said, oh, he's here. You wait your turn, baby. People pay to see me, not you. Bro, he's... He said, you wait your turn, baby. People pay to see me, not you. He is talking to a billionaire like that. I love it. He doesn't care. Let's talk, shall we? AEW is now Destination Television once again. The ship has been steered properly once again. This belt... It's now the most important belt. I love that belt, by the way. That AEW championship belt looks so damn good. In this entire sport, and it states the three letters, and it damn sure ain't AEW. <laughs> I know for a motherfucking fact it ain't MOX. It's M J S. <laughs> God damn, you people are fucking dumb, man. No offense. No offense. You had sympathy for the devil? What are you fucking stupid? You morons, bit. That is so good. And he played it up. I'm like, this has to be obviously an act. But he played it very, very well. Even though in this match, and we've had this discussion you know, on Twitter and on my last video, MJF was pretty much still a heel. Yes, but the way the match was set up, the way the atmosphere was set up, you would think if you never seen MJF before, you would have thought he was a babyface. You would have thought he was he was pretty much trying to come back from behind in in a situation to overcome uh John Moxley. That's that's the only thing I was commenting on. But ultimately he showed his true colors and I loved every second of it. On every single word I had to say this past couple of months, huh? I wanna earn it. I wanna fuck that. I deserve it, because I'm the best wrestler in the fucking world. And every single one of you know it. On the microphone, in the ring, nobody can touch me. That's a fact. Nobody is on my level. And then, do you think you guys still believe me when I put over this motherfucker this past Wednesday? Oh, yeah, and I, I did see the off-air clip where he put him over. He, he kind of put him over. He was he was really, he, that's one thing I can say about MJF. He was really hamming up, I'm going to earn it the legit way. I'm not completely a good guy, but... I'm gonna earn it the legit way. I love that. That that that. That's why I can't wait till Wednesday night. I'm definitely gonna be streaming that as well, man. This whole week is gonna be full of streams, so be on the lookout for that. Grow the fuck up. No offense. <laughs> Grow up. Now let's talk a little bit, huh? Uh, MJF, what's going on with you and Regal? You know, we're all really interested. What's going on? How'd that link up start? You think I'm gonna tell you, dumb motherfucker? Huh? With seventy. I like the fact that he's selling the knee injury, too. I hope it's not a real thing. I hope it's not he really injured, but he is selling the knee injury, and I can appreciate that. Thousand fucking hardcore marks watching at home jerking off in their grandma's basement. Huh? To my velvet voice? You think I give a shit? No, <laughs> if you want to know anything about the most important man in professional wrestling, you got to tune in to the MJF show. That's every Wednesday on TBS. And you know damn well, that is now Destination TV. Now, here's what's gonna fucking happen, okay? I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna get all of Moxie's disgusting hepatitis A through Z off of me. <laughs> and then, in the morning, I'm gonna do what nobody else on the roster does, because I'm the only real fucking star here. 
I'm gonna hop on a jet and I'm gonna go to my goddamn movie set. Anybody got any questions? Huh? Just kidding. Thank you. Fuck you. Bye. <laughs> Jam's fucking out, baby! <laughs> he is so funny. Right. Oh my god! <laughs> MJF, man, he is, he, he, he knows what he's doing, bro. He knows what he's doing. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens on Wednesday. Uh, I'm glad he's the top champ. Now we can really get some things going. I know, I believe Ricky Starks is supposed to be having a match where if he wins that match, he'll be the number one contender for the AEW championship. I'm not going to lie to you. I actually would be okay with that. Ricky Starks is definitely someone that needs to be featured more on television. You can definitely go on the microphone, pretty good in the ring. I would love to see a, a Ricky Starks and an MJF kind of go back and forth. Granted, you know, I, I I would probably wait on that, you know what I'm saying, to build up Ricky Starks even more. But if they were to go with that a little bit sooner, I'm okay with that. I think they would have a fantastic little feud. Um, and I'm just looking forward to the feuds he can have now as the champ because he's going to do whatever it takes to keep it he's going to do whatever it takes to keep the title which means we're going to get some great heel content because there's nothing better than a heel doing everything he can to keep the title so that way when he actually finally loses it to someone it makes that person a mega star this was a great great media scrum he just came in there talked his trash and left I, I can appreciate that I'm glad he is the world champion. He is, in my opinion, one of their best top guys. He he has it. He, he knows how to really get people invested. And I feel like these, these MJF promos and these MJF segments and the people he's going to feud with, I think it's going to be must-see television. So I can't wait to see what they do with him moving forward. But comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys... That's Dub calling me right now. But comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy this little, little segment of the media scrum? Let me know down below. At least this time it didn't uh, end off in like a, a brawl afterwards. So that's that's a plus. But uh, I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel so far. Uh, Road to 100K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.